close the door on anybody. We're, we typically see people when there's some major event taking place, so there's a liquidity event. And that may not be a $50 million liquidity event. It may be a 5 or $10 million liquidity event. Um, I do think that the market we serve tends to go between low end, I want to say of $20 million. And typically, you know, the bell curve would get us to about $150 million. Doesn't mean, you know, we have several clients that are 250 or $300 million. But the, the, the largest, uh, underserved market that we see is between 20 and about 150. And I think, Stuart, that's because these tend to be business owners. The business might be real estate. They might have 20 pieces of real estate, but they tend to be illiquid. And so they're not interesting to the big wirehouses because they don't have money to manage. There's nothing for anybody to do. And they're pretty unapproachable for the rest of the planning world because they're not anywhere they can be found. So that, that tends to be who our audience is just from an experiential standpoint. Yeah. What are some of the unique challenges? When you get up, like most of the people don't have $20 million, but I, I appreciate that being underserved. What are some of the unique challenges of those type of people that are at that $20 million? Well, right? it's, they, they break into a number of categories. First of all, they have terrible planning. Um, <laughs> They typically have estate plans that were done, you know, when they started the business or when they first had kids, they haven't been looked at. No one's really kept up with them. So as they're, they don't think of themselves as wealthy most yeah. of the time because they're, they're, all their money is tied up in businesses or real estate. And it's just stuff to them. It's, so they're used to living on the income that those assets produce for them. And if they're nearing kind of the end of a cycle where there's either going to sell or close or walk away or transition to the next generation, they have a whole change of, um, you know, their, their whole outlook on how they're going to live changes. So they, they hit these various transition points. Uh, so I would say that's one of the challenges. Um, they don't have sophisticated teams around them. Um, and they don't know the planning language. So, you know, they don't even know they have a problem a great deal of the time. Um, they're illiquid. Uh, by and large, they have no liquidity. Uh, and they will often have the, you know, the dynamic we all read about, uh, one child in the business and three children not in the business, yeah. um, uh, you know, and a need to divide things up fairly, whatever that means. And so, you know, even getting them to think or talk about the subject is a challenge. Um, and if we can get them there, then getting them to take the next steps is, you know, 